All right, people, what is going on back with another video? And today I want to talk about an interesting uh, signing by the Atlanta Falcons and what my thoughts are about it. Um, I think this is going to be pretty cool. And um, I, I want to give my thoughts about it. So let's get into that. Uh, before I go any further, I hope you guys uh, like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, let people know what I'm doing over here. If you guys have been checking out the content, been subscribing to the channel, you guys are awesome. I really appreciate it helping the channel grow. And if you want to be a part of what I do over here, also want to be a part of what Atlanta Falcons Nation do, I'll have their videos or their channel up in the card area check out all that stuff all that stuff is going to be good information for atlanta falcons and atlanta sports in general also i do sell uh merch you can go check all that stuff out there's a picture up under at the bottom of this video letting you know what do i sell as far as my merch and uh, my logos and stuff from my secondary channel as well so hopefully you check all that stuff out all right let's get into this Jeff Bidette, uh former uh, XFL Dallas Renegades, also played with the Washington football team, and I think he had a stint with the Minnesota Vikings. Um, he came in for a workout, and I think that the Falcons are going to be signing him. It's all over the all over the internet right now talking about that they're going to sign him, and it's uh, really interesting what they may use him for. Look like he's going to be more of a special teams guy. I don't know what his hands look like. Maybe he can catch. But at 4-2 speed, I would like the, him to get the ball in his hands in any uh, way possible so he can show off that speed. Uh, we already have Avery Williams, Cordell Patterson to be kickoff and punt returns, which, you know, more the better because you can't have enough guys that can um, actually help out on special teams. So this, is, I mean, obviously it's going to be good if you are able to afford and get good value for the players. Um Maybe he'll be uh, putting in a slot for wide receiver number four, uh, wide receiver number five, whatever is on the depth chart. But with that speed, I need to know if this guy can catch. I Also, I need to know if he can hold on to the ball because if those two things are um, go hand in hand, we may have a weapon over here that nobody really knows about. He played some time at, in the XFL. Um, he only had uh, – he, he only had the ball thrown to him one time ever since he was uh when he played for the Washington football team so he doesn't have that much you know tread uh you know been used on his uh, on the tires you know so he 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 can he probably has a lot to give even at his age of 26 going on 27 uh I like the move. Uh, I want to know if he'll make the team. They're going to like, want to sign him. If he makes a team, that's just going to add more depth to the receiver court we have. You know, after losing number 11, you just cannot have anyone that replace him. You're going to have need a gang of people to replace that type of uh, dynamic that was with um, – with number 11 you know he's going to tennessee now wish him well but right now i'm you know the team is going in the right direction i like where this team is going we got salary um cap uh space we got uh, some of our people signed we got so few more draft picks we need to sign and this person you know mr Padet here looks like he can be an asset to what uh, we can do on the special teams. Hey, and I haven't even talked about this. Maybe he could do something special with under the, the offense that we're running now. We just never know because um, even though uh, we talk a lot about the defense being multiple and being diverse all, and all that, there's a chance that, you know, even with, you know, Arthur Smith now being the head coach, you know, uh, the offensive coordinator for the Falcons could probably mix some things up as well. Like we see Cordell Patterson in the backfield and all the stuff you see where uh, um, Kyle Pitts is lined up everywhere. You never know what they may use with that for. So this is really interesting to see how this goes. So I'm really interested to see about this. Let me know what you guys think. Um, do you think this is a pretty good signing? You think they should have went more defense? I know a lot of people talking about that. Go defense, go defense, go defense. But um, when you have a guy with this type of speed, do at least try him out and see how he goes and maybe he end up making the team. It's going to be interesting to see how this goes. I know I use that word a lot, but it, that's what it's going to be. Um, let me know in the comment section what you think. Once again, if you like this video, please let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to share this video, let other people know what I'm doing over here. Trust me, when you share it, a lot of people can see it and they'll come and they'll probably chat in the comment section with you and you can chat back with them. 
Also, if you want to see more of this content, because I'm making content on the daily, I'm making videos on the daily, hit that subscribe button. And that will be quite awesome if you do that as well. Well, that's going to be it. Kind of slow on the Falcons news today, but, you know, I thought this was interesting. <laughs> There's that word again. And I thought I uh, would talk about it. Also, check out the merch, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. You guys be easy. Peace.